We start by creating a new project in Apple's IDE called Dash Code. It's a HTML CSS editor uh, for Safari and mobile development. We'll call this project trailers, get rid of the default uh, components because we'll be adding our own. Uh, first we'll change the background color stage through the property inspector. Now we'll come into the components library and grab a stack container or stack layout object, drop it on the stage. Um, this simply, behind the scenes, this uh, simply creates uh, a few divs, HTML divs, um, which I'll show you here. If we go to the index file, we look at that. Scroll down under the body, we see uh, the first div the idea stack layout which Apple uses to apply its JavaScript to give it the uh, behavior to make it easily switch between views which you see were just more divs nested divs uh, in the first div which is shown by default when you first come to the page we'll add a grid component which uh, allows you to easily uh, repeat a pattern in this case uh, we have um, um, two components nested inside one was a text layout which I got rid of the other one was a image component I'm just going to tweak the size to give it more of a rectangular view to accommodate the uh, movie poster image that we'll be bringing out and whatever we do in the first cell will automatically be replicated across all the other cells uh, now we'll go and give it the RSS feed. Uh, this is a handy tool from Apple that allows you to easily inspect uh, the contents of the feed and then also easily wire them to its view. Here we're taking the uh, image uh, that came in and the source property of the image and associating it with its view component on stage. Next, we're going to go into the second view and bring in a, a video component. Just drop that in there. Um, this will allow us to easily link whatever the user selects in the grid to the video. See, it automatically made a copy of the data source, which now contains just the selection and we scroll down and find uh, the video source here or preview we just link that same way by drag and dropping linking the stage component to the uh, source property of the data source and now our two views are set up um, I have some short JavaScript code here that will toggle between the two views so I'm going to go into the JavaScript file and just paste that function in here, uh, toggle stack layout, and we'll just go between the details view, which contains the grid component, and the video view, which will have the uh, video preview or trailer. Okay, now that we have the fuse, their IDs uh, set correctly. I can come into the behavior inspector and associate on click handler with uh, the image component object. Come into the oops, did that stick? I moved away too quickly. Hit return. Okay, sticks now. Come to the video view and then click on that um, I'll call that same behavior or method which will give us that behavior of toggling between the two views that will apply the standard sliding behavior that you see on the iPhone when going transitioning from one view to the other um, so I saved this project now I'm going to export it and this will export all the HTML CSS and JavaScript used in this project and images you can see here. Now I'm going to go into uh, Xcode and choose the, a custom template 
by uh, Quick Connect iPhone, which uh, makes it very easy, as you'll see, to uh, create a native application, native hybrid application. So I'm just going to store the project files here, give it the same name, any name is fine. Um, now I have the project created, the files are written to disk, I just need to copy the Xcode files that were, I mean dash code files that were exported and drag that into the Xcode project via the finder. Make sure you tell it to replace everything. And that's pretty much it. Now we're going to come back in here, Xcode, uh, make sure we're on the simulator. Hit build and run, it will compile our project. Now you saw I didn't add any code in Xcode and there we go. We got a, a HTML JavaScript based application running uh, on the iPhone. We're viewing it through the simulator but I can easily uh, Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, and there you have it. A hybrid iPhone application created in seven minutes. Um, See, so it has the transitions all built in just by choosing that stack layout in dash code. Um, you know, the dash code ID is something I feel is uh, overlooked, underappreciated. Um, but as you saw, it makes uh, wiring up uh, uh, application uh, quick and easy. Um, well, that's it for this presentation. Um, thank you. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section.